What's up, mother f money moicano here, and we made it, boys. We made it to UFC 300 with a TKO on the second round. And today, I'm going to talk about the fight. I'm going to talk about Jalen Turner. I'm going to talk about how hurt I was on the first round and how I felt after the finish. What is next? And let me know if you like the fight or not. Let me know if you make money or not. And always remember, I am a not financial advisor, but I advise you to put money on my can in every fight that is underdog. Money cannot afford to lose. See you after the intro. Us. What's up, my brother? So I'm going to talk about UFC 300, but first, I'm going to talk about how the fight coming to fruition, my brother. I was watching UFC 299 live, and then my manager called me and said, Hey, so Shelby just asked if you want to fight Jalen Turner. And I say, when I have to answer that, because I have to go to the gym and check how, how I am, if I'm because I was not really training, you know? But then my manager said, Hey, you have to tell right now because if you say yes, we're going to announce today on UFC 299. You say, put me in, coach. Put me in. I'm going to fight Jalen Turner. Of course, I was not 100% trained because I just had the fight with Dober. And then I was relaxing and enjoying and uh, eating a little bit and not training as much as uh, I should. But I say yes. Huge opportunity. UFC 300. And let me tell you something, my brother. Four weeks of training and I did my training, I did everything that I could uh, to be in the best shape, to be in the best fight game, and was was awesome, was a good fight. I'm going to talk about first about UFC 300, great card to be in, the whole week was very good, and especially on the, on the press conference on Thursday, was amazing to see how many people was there, and thank you so much for the love and the support of the, of the fan, especially people from the channel, because I was surprised when they, uh, one of the first questions people were asking about Manny Moicano and so many legends and stars on the stage and they were asking me questions and I could see was people for the YouTube, my brother. You, the generate gamblers that love YouTube and MMA scene, my brother. It was a great, great experience. Las Vegas was, was great. And then we got on the fight day, my brother. The fight day, I was a little bit nervous, of course, UFC 300. Huge opportunity for me, you know. Jalen Turner, tough guy, tall dude. But like I say, I cannot afford to lose. He got me good on the first round. I knew like the range and the distance was very uh, problematic because he is very tall, he is very long. I didn't measure it a lot because I had to punch him and back off. And at that time I tried to punch him and then he got me with a left hook, a left straight. And then I fell down. But if you see, I come back very quickly. And I don't know why he didn't uh, finish the fight. He didn't went for the ground and pound. But even if he did, I would have not lose. I would have submitted him on the ground. And he knows that. But after that, I recover. And I'm really glad with my performance. Because Jalen Turner is not an easy guy to take down and to control. And I control him the whole fight when I was on the ground. My takedowns are getting better every day. I feel tomorrow I will be on the top 10 in the UFC at least, and we climb to the top, and I told you guys, don't bet against Moni Moicano. I am a man on a mission. A man on a mission to make money, to be on the top. So, props to Jalen Turner, but like I told you, I was the best underdog of the card, my brother. The best underdog of the card, and TKO victory, very special. I didn't want to TKO him, I want to finish, to have like 11 finishes in, on the rear naked choke. But motherfuckers are not giving the back because they know what's coming. So now I have to elbow these motherfuckers on the face, my brother, to get the TKO. And I don't know what's next. I'm going to watch a little bit pe what people were thinking, and especially Paddy Pimblet. I saw he did a reaction video, so I'm, I'm going to react over that. Other than that, UFC 300 was a great card, special night, 
Max Holloway is definitely one of the goats of UFC. I think he's going to beat Topuria. Other than that, Alex Pereira is a fucking monster, right? Alex Pereira is crazy. The way he knocked Hill out. And let me tell you something, Hill is a, Hill is a nice guy. I like, I like Jamal Hill very much. He's a funny, cool dude. But Alex Pereira is just a monster on the feet and you have to respect that, okay? What do you guys think about UFC 300? For me, it was unbelievable. Very good. Now, let's do the reaction video part, okay? This video is more about MMA, so stay tuned. This week, I'm going to talk about what I say on the post-interview. Let's go to the reaction videos. We are here with Paddy Pimblet and, again, I don't want to trash Paddy Pimblet. But motherfucker is looking huge again. Look at that, my brother. It's a full moon face, my brother. Take it easy on the carbohydrates, my brother. Take it easy. We got Moicano first Jalen Turner. My mate Moicano. Start. Money Moicano for you, baby. Money Moicano for you. I just definitely think Moicano needs to get onto the floor. Yeah, he's there. He is shooting it already. Yeah, I think first round is definitely... Oh. Oh. I got cut. just landed a big shot down the middle, put Renato, Renato down. That one punch is just lost on that round, definitely. If I was Moicano, I'd be on that single leg or that double leg as fast as possible. I'd have Moicano for finishing him, yeah. Moicano just finished him. The, the, this guy is on depression or something, my brother. Why the fuck he's talking like that? He smoking weed or what he did, my brother? He looked like he's fucking... High as fuck, my brother. To get him dropped in the first. Renato, where was the call out, lad? Thought uh, Moicano was going to mention me there, but... Now I see what you're doing. That's why you're doing the live reaction, right? You want the spotlight, my brother. I know you have C300. You want the spotlight. You want Renato Moicano to go over there and talk about Perry Pimblet, my brother? I have better things to do with my prime time, my brother. Yeah. Props on the performance. That was a very, very good performance. Done well to survive at the end of that first round and then come back out and finish him in the second. That was a quality performance by Mercano. Congratulations, lad. Top 10 for you. He is a funny guy. You never know, maybe uh, me versus Mm, He wants the fight. Mercano, that would be a very good season of the Ultimate Fighter. You know? Man, on that, we agreed Paddy Pimblet. Money Mercano versus Paddy Pimblet on the Ultimate Fighter. What's better than that, my brother? What's better than that? I, I totally agree with you. And, and thank you for the respect that you show on the fight. That's good too. And nevertheless, I will beat the shit out of you, my brother. Okay? This is not personal. It's just skill-wise. Skill-wise, the depth is too big, my brother. I have been UFC for a long time. And maybe I will give you the shot. You know, like you say, top 10. Uh, I don't know what's next. But I definitely could fight Paddy Pimblet for the for the opportunity to be on the ultimate fight, right? I think that works. And let's see what happens. We are here for the big one, UFC 300. And this is my breakdown brought to you by Steak. If you follow his advice, my brother, probably you live in a fucking tent right now. All right. Ooh, I like All this. right. Next one, we have number 10 ranked Jalen Turner versus number 12 ranked Renato oh, just a Moy scratch. Cano, just a scratch. Jalen recently lost to Dan, then just beat Bobby Green. What was that Jalen fight like from your point of view, Dan? Uh, yeah, he just punched him in the head and then realized he didn't like getting punched in the head and then mm-hmm. so I just punched him in the head. He... Yeah. I'll tell you what it was like for me as your friend. Horrible. Yeah, I but thought it was, it, was like, it wasn't going that bad in my nah, head. No, nah, no, nah, <laughs> it was fun. Man, was... you got beat so bad on the first round, worse than me, my brother. Because I was controlling him, and then he got me one big shot. But he was beating the shit out of Dan Hooker, my brother. Let's be honest. <laughs> right, bro, we almost submitted him around two. Holy fuck. Good, great fight. Good back and forth as well. And also, yeah, cursed him as well. Good scrap. Good scrap. He was there. So, yeah, he, I, he wasn't I like there. Jim. He's cool. He knows how to fight. But yeah, yeah he's, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, bro, he's good. I think he beats a lot of the guys in the top 10. I, don't know, I think he smashes Moicano. Like, <laughs> my brother. You couldn't even finish Jalen Turner. I finished him in the second round because I didn't want to finish him in the first round because I had to teach people a lesson, my brother. I have to teach people a lesson about accountability, my brother, about, about getting stronger, not getting weaker, my brother. So I let him punch me on the first round just to finish him in the second because I wanted, my brother. 
So chew the fuck out. I said if Moicano wins, I'll fight Moicano. Like, yeah. yeah. Hey, money Moicano. See, Moicano, I didn't really know much Whenever about this. Whenever you want, like, June. Oh, like, uh, yeah, now, yeah, but he says exactly how it feels. I don't, like, again, I've said this already. I've said even about Strickland, I'm like, look, I might not like you, I might not agree with you, but anyone that can express themselves authentically, even like I do, people don't like me or they do or whatever, but I express myself authentically. If you can't do that, I like him now. I respect like, I'm that. Not even, he like, does that. Yeah, he I says, like Moicano. I, I want to be a police officer for... United States and kick all the immigrants out, <laughs> whatever else. Man, when I say that, to be a police officer to kick all immigrants, man, how stupid is that? If I was a police officer and I had to kick the immigrants, I would have to kick my family, motherfucker. I'm an immigrant. I'm, we're from Brazil. My family is from Brazil. I'm not talking about that. First of all, America was found by immigrants. I don't know if you know, but the only Americans... They were here first was the indigenous people, my brother. Other than that, everybody's from another place. I don't know if you know that. I'm not talking about immigrants. The immigrants was the best thing of America because you have people all over the world. They are different, different cultures. And then you have this melting pot of culture and ideas. And what I like about America is free market of ideas. You know, everybody can, can be different in America. That's not the problem. The problem is the bad guys. The problem is the thieves, the corrupt, the people that want to destroy the biggest civilization of the world today. You know, that's the fucking problem. So shut the fuck up, my brother. It's not about kicking out uh, immigrants, my brother. It's about to killing the bad guys. He said. Of the United States. Oh, not that. I think he Wait. said he was going <laughs> to. <laughs> 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 I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Even Dan Hooker, my brother. I don't like Dan Hooker. Even Dan Hooker said, I don't think he said that. Oh, crazy. What? What? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Back to the <laughs> guys. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but anyway. Paraphrasing? I said anything about it. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't no, say anything about him. I'm done with fighting. I will serve on the police officer. I want to be a SWAT team, and I want to <laughs> kill the bad guys. But pretty much, he spoke <laughs> his mind on the mic, talks about yeah. money. He's like, I'll fight for money. Fuck the belch, I want money. Fuck the belch, I want That's money. That's all I know about him. His style, though, I know he does jujitsu really well. And he's all right at striking. Moikana has never had a KO or TKO. He's First time, motherfucker. Three times. He's been knocked out. Yeah, he only has submission finishes. Ten submission finishes. Okay. Jalen has too. never been submitted. He's not going to submit him. He's not? I don't think so. No. Turner's going to keep his distance. You see, now he 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 did he did the good prediction. He's not going to submit. He's going to TKO him. Let's keep teeping them. And then Moikana's going to walk forward. And then money, money. Boom, boom, boom. Money, money. Marshall pick. I'm gonna go Jalen. I think turn up, uh, yeah, yeah, I want my- Look at these odds, my brother. If you were smart, you made your money and now you invest in Bitcoin. Kind of, we kind of do it so you can- I like to fight him. I, I like, like that, that fight you, too. What, yeah. you like the matchup? I just, that's like, I look at him and I hear him speak and I'm just like, fuck, I'm not punch you. Man, Dan Hooker, you easy money for money more economy, my brother. Let me tell you something, easy, easy. Look what I did with Jalen Turner. You're gonna be even easier, my brother. Off like, I don't know. I like him. I like what, him too. I've got no. Is that anything to you? No. Nah, nah, nothing. You just like, don't like the way he sounds. Nah, I just don't like. Like people say that. Oh, you know. I just don't like the sound of his voice. <laughs> like fuck you. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you see something. You're like, fuck that guy. I think that was Victoria the first time. Oh, what's your reason? Uh, it's like. I want to fight. Do I him. need a reason? It's a fight. That is the end of the early prelims. Click on the next video to watch. The so, I win, you lose, motherfuckers. Hey, Sugar Sean, with the money, the Lambo, my brother. Jalen Turner versus Hanato Moikano. I like this money fight Moikano. very much. Money Moikano! I know, yeah. it's a really good event. Really Unbelievable, my brother. Money Moikano, the prelims is just disrespectful. This good is event. crazy. Jalen Turner is fucking good bro i know no. but hey um okano's tough dude he's a guy that's durable but when, he, and... when he fought when he fought jose aldo that was when i was first time i really watched him like, jose oh, aldo junior good huh? like skilled jiu-jitsu skilled boxing skilled as fuck that is a badass fight at lightweight jalen turner is so much bigger though than yeah. this guy so it's gonna be very interesting of what um okano can deal with with that i think jalen turner is gonna get a submission win really yeah again no. Man, second. man, that that was the worst take that I ever see. Imagine Jalen Turner finish Moni Moicano. Round, grabs his neck. 
What do you think? I, th- so? I think Jalen Turner's going to win, but it's good. Remember he fought Matisse Gamrot? Yeah. Dude, coming off, he out. I thought he won. That was a robbery dude. decision. Gamrot's so, like, so hmm. fucking tough. If he game, did that man. to Gamrot, Moicano's good, but I know MMA math never works. I, but Jalen Turner's just so fucking tall for that division. Yeah, that's going to be a sick fight. All right, moving Next. to the featherweight division. Next. You guys wrong. Moicano Payet. See, the tarantula, hot favorite. Uh, Jalen Turner and look I didn't know the odds of when I seen the card I was like I know exactly what I'm going to say uh, and I think the odd makers agree with me look Jalen Turner even though Moicano's on a tear he's been killing it he's uh, killing he's doing it. really well I like him he's a good fighter I just think uh, stylistically he's going to find it hard to get uh, Jalen Turner to the ground hmm. if he does can he submit him yeah I can see I can see him submit him. if he takes it to the ground I just don't think it's going to get there and on the feet time um, the two take down Jalen beautiful Turner clean take downs uh, Moicano's got some good uh, hands himself. He's got some great striking. But, I mean, his style, if he wants to stand and, and fight Jalen Turner, I don't think that ends well for him. So, I'll, I'm and Jalen Turner, I think he's looking to get finished. I think he's due for a big finish, and I think this might be it on, on 300 as well. So, uh, obviously, ah, now favorite. I know why saying that, brother. Because Jalen Turner beat his boy, Brad Riddell. But so what? I did it so. So, I'm going to say for you guys as my tip uh, would be... Remember, gamble responsibly. I'm always going to say that. Gamble responsibly. Uh, but I will say, finish. Uh, Tico, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a submission. He, even if he gets him to the ground, he's going to ground and pound him out. He's not going to go for the submission. So we're going to go Tico, uh, finish for Jalen Turner. This is your financial advisor, my brother. Is this a good financial advisor? If you follow this advice, you're homeless, my bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Volkanovski, that was a very bad take. Then we we'll go to the early... First, first of all, I, want, I don't know why people hate so much Kamaru Usman. Kamaru Usman was a dominant champion, one of the best welterweights of all times. I remember Dan White saying like how good he was, like he was even better than GSP. Of course, he got rocked by Leon Edwards, but he's still a guy that has a lot of popularity. I think people like him. I think... I think he is a very good champ. So I don't know the, why they disrespect him like that. Prelims, headliner, we've got Jalen Turner taking on Hanato Moicano. The tough one, but I'm going to go with Jalen Turner. I think he's just a little... Forget everything that I said about Kamaru Usman, my brother. Just a little bit more tools. Even though Moicano, definitely, you know, if things aren't going right on the feet, he can definitely take the fight down, as you saw in his fight with Drew Dober. But I'm going to go with Jalen Turner. Shame on you, my brother. Very bad pick, okay? Next, we got Jalen Turner taking on Hanato Moicano. Money. I like to call him money. Money. He's always about money after he wins his fight. So, I am going to have to go with Jalen Turner. I've worked with Jalen Turner for maybe about two minutes at the Jackson Podcast. I'm going to pick Jalen Turner because I work with him, with him for two minutes. That's a good pick, my brother. And I already love what I saw because he understands distance. He can fight from South Paul to Orthodox. He is a big, big body for that weight class. What is that? That's that lightweight division. Big boy for that division. And I think he's still young. He's still growing. And I'm not saying money can't win either, but if I had to pick my bet, I'm a bet on black, baby. That's what I do. All right, we're going to keep it going. Clearly biased, my brother. I saved the best for the end because I didn't watch what MMA gurus say about me before because... Prior to a fight, before a fight, I don't watch any news. I just focus on the fight. So let's see what he's saying about that. Up the card to another fight. Jalen Turner versus Hinato Moicano. Now, Moicano, I have a ton of respect for you, buddy. Hmm. I really do. Ton of respect, but I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go with Jalen Turner. <laughs> I'm going with Hinato. I need to stop making a noise every time, but I'm going to make a noise every time. <laughs> Hinato Moicano is going to win. You see? That's why this guy's the number one MMA picks, my brother. He know his <laughs> shit. Rene could choke round one. Wrong. Rene could choke round one. Put your money down. Put your money down. This Rene could choke round one. We're going to have an epic card of epic finishes. Wild results. I think Jalen Turner's going to land some good shots. I really do. But I think Kanato Moicano before long is going to find the hips of Jalen Turner. And when he finds those hips, 
he doesn't have to find the takedown from them. He has to find the back control. And I think from there, Jalen Turner is a body type that is scalable for Renato Moicano. He's going to climb Jalen Turner all the way to his back and sink in a choke in round one. Moicano's back. He's got momentum. He's not coming off an injury. He's not coming off a year off. Dober's a short, stocky dude. For a guy like Moicano, that's a dangerous man to try and find the hips of. Jalen Turner, the hips are there for Moicano. He don't have to shoot. And I was surprised, even though, uh, like, he stall, the first round was an easy takedown. And the second round was an easy takedown, too. I just got too comfortable on the feet, right? When he got up, I felt like he, he, he got a little bit tired. And I say, okay, I will strike with him a little bit more. And he got me. He got me. So, but the takedown was easy to get. It was not a hard takedown. So he's right. That low, he's going to shoot straight in on those hips. Turner's going to back him off. And then, Hanato Moicano is going to keep control of the hips, go round to the back, drag down Jalen Turner and start looking to put hooks in. Jalen Turner's 14 and 7, by the way. Just want to mention that. Moicano's been 14 around and 8, my brother. To go in there with a dumb game plan of striking with Jalen Turner. I think he's going to look to find the hips and where Gamrock could take him down and where Frivola could take him down over and over again. I think Canato Moicano is going to also be able to. And I think he's going to lead him to get a rear naked choke in this fight. That was a good prediction video. The, the, the submission was a, was a possibility. But the guys are not giving the back. So from now on, I have to punch them. But MMA Guru with the good prediction, my brother. I respect what you're doing and... Thank you so much, everybody that watched the video. That was the video for today. Click the like button and help us to get more subscribers, my brother. See you soon, motherfuckers. Ooh.